everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I am sharing with you another Kmart organization and decor hacks video so I hope you all enjoy it if you do please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notification bells so you don't miss another video and just a quick shout out and thank you to all the people who have let me use their photos and don't forget to check out their business pages and Instagram pages I will leave them linked in the description box below so the first hack that I have for you is the Kmart pegboard hack. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen them painted and stuff like that, but have you ever seen anyone glue a poster to it? This was the first time I'd actually ever seen it. I think it would be a great way to customize it and theme it in the way that you like it. So you could pick your favorite poster and glue it on there and yeah, just give it that little bit more personality and something different to what everyone else has. Are you stuck? on ideas for how to store that Lego that goes with the Kmart Lego table. Well, one mama has solved the problem for us. She has actually worked out that the three tiered bookshelf from Kmart will fit perfectly underneath the Lego table from Kmart. So basically she's just popped it straight under there. You can slide it out and all the Lego can be stored in all three different compartments because there's obviously three different shelves. So I think that this is an amazing hack for anybody with the Lego table to organize and store their Lego. Do you remember these Kmart canisters? Yes, you have seen me use one in my shower to hide that visual clutter. And you've seen me use the other one in the last Kmart hacks video to use as a planter for my plants. But what do you do with these lids afterwards, right? Do you throw them out? No, you don't throw them out. One lady has shown us what you can do with these lids and it looks amazing. Now that you've seen these, don't forget to go and check out her business on Instagram as well. And now for my favorite, the plant hacks. So definitely go and check out Macrami Creates on Instagram. She has some amazing work and also some other Kmart hacks that you might like to check out as well. So definitely go and check her out on Instagram. And she does do classes as well if you're interested in learning how to do any of these pieces. And now I'm just going to let these beautiful products speak for themselves. Now this one is for anybody who has a little girl that they would like to spoil. Well, that's if your little girl likes doll's houses anyway. So I swear some of these doll houses are better than my own house. Can you actually believe that these are made out of Kmart dolls houses and pieces from Kmart? Can you spot the Kmart pieces? 
Now, if you have enjoyed her dollhouse and you would like to purchase any of these pieces, then definitely go and check out her social media pages or go and check out her Etsy store. Now for the next hack, she has used this timber seat from Kmart and she's put a hole in the top for the sink area and then she's just added some wheels from Bunnings and then a basket on the side for all the accessories. And I think this is really cute as like a mud kitchen or something like that or even in a cubby house for outside. Now if you are getting married or you have an important event, you, you are sending invitations out and you don't want to spend too much money on stationery, then definitely go and check out the scrapbooking section in Kmart and think about what you can do. So one lady has actually stuck down some scrapbooking paper to the inside of the envelope, which gives the receiver something a little bit interesting and a little bit of a surprise when they're going to open up their invitation. Now, if you're the kind of organizer that likes things visually in front of them, then this one is perfect for storing your jewelry. So I'm pretty sure that this is actually meant to be for storing coats and stuff like that, but this lady has used it to store her jewelry. And I think that this would be also cute in a little girl's room to store like her bags and hair accessories and again, jewelry pieces and stuff like that. And now I'm just gonna share one of my own Kmart hacks with you. And this was inspired by all of those wooden beaded clothing hangers. So I see these a lot in little kids rooms and stuff like that and they look really cute. But I wanted to actually use this as a stationary holder. So just getting an S hook and hanging some tins to it. And then in the top, I would be able to put up all of her like art pieces. So I actually haven't attached this to the wall at all, but I'm going to quickly share this hack with you. Of course, you can still use it for dress ups and stuff like that. But yeah, this is just how I wanted to use mine. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I do apologize if you can hear a little bit of noise in the background, it's my washing machine. I didn't time that very well. So basically all I've done is I have used a five millimeter drill bit, which is out in the shed. I just finished drilling that and I've just drilled the holes. So my advice would be when you are drilling these holes is when you clamp this down, so it's not moving around, to leave the clamp down and then drill the other side so then both holes are lining up you don't have like a hole down here and then you're trying to line up the hole down the other end and it's not in a straight line so that is my advice there so I just used a five millimeter drill bit for that and I just measured two centimeters in and then I have done the same thing so I've measured my two centimeters in here and I'm about to take this out to the shed and drill a hole in that so then everything should line up the video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bells on and if you do want to see more from me i do have a facebook and an instagram page where you can catch me thank you for watching and i will catch up with you next week for another video bye